my name is Deanne Sandberg, and I'm your Community Affairs Representative for the Portland-Milwaukee Light Rail Bridge, one of the many exciting elements that's part of the 7.3-mile light rail alignment called the Portland-Milwaukee Light Rail Project here in Portland, Oregon. And welcome to Bridgeview, a unique behind-the-scenes look at the design and construction of the Portland-Milwaukee Light Rail Bridge. Today, we have Dave Unsworth, a senior project manager with TriMet, here to give us some basics about this new light rail bridge. Thanks, Deanne. So, Dave, tell us about why this bridge is being built at this particular point on the Willamette River. For this alignment, we had to, to pick the right place to get across the river. And so we studied a number of different bridge alignments. We studied the Hawthorne Bridge. We studied the Ross Island Bridge. We studied looking at using the Selwood Bridge. And a committee of many smart people came to the conclusion that this was the right section of the river to choose. So we looked at ridership. We looked at environmental impacts. We looked at design and cost and came up with alignment that ties the south to the tram and the 11,000 jobs up on the hill by going down to Southwest Porter Street. And then on this side of the river to OMSI with a million visitors a year here. So that connection, that alignment made the most sense uh, for that those decision makers on the, on the bridge alignment. And what type of bridge is being built? It's a great new uh, bridge type for the city of Portland, uh, the city of bridges, if you will. It's a cable state bridge. It has two towers. Um, that connects the dots here. There's two landside abutments and two landside piers. So this bridge is really unique for our region, isn't it? Very unique. The Port Milwaukee Light Rail Bridge will carry light rail, they'll carry three bus lines, and it'll eventually have streetcar on it. So very unique. Probably the only bridge in the United States that carries all three of those modes. In addition, we've got two paths for bike and pedestrians on both sides of the bridge, two 14-foot paths, so wide, connections and great connections on both sides of the river. Won't have uh, room for, for cars and autos. This is really a transit only bridge. Thanks Dave. I really appreciate it. Well we're real excited. I look forward to it too. Thanks. So thanks for joining us for this first episode of Bridgeview. See you next time.